Hey everyone, I'm Alyssa and I'm a senior at Wynn High School and I'm in the ACE program and I was told to teach y'all the basics of riding and traveling and taking care of your horse. Um, this is OD and um, she's gonna be my helper today. And so, yeah. And I've been riding for about nine years now and I compete in reining and ranch pleasure. Now we will learn how to saddle your horse. So first things first, you need to make sure you brush it good and make sure there's nothing under here that can possibly hurt it or pinch it or anything. So make sure all the dirt's gone, any kind of cocoa burrows or anything like that. Anything that is touching the horse, you gotta make sure it's clean. So first thing you do is you take your pad and you throw it up and you wanna make sure this is sitting right above your withers. And most pads, if you use them for a while, it has a little indention where the dirt goes. And you can kind of use that as your placement. But if not, you can use this as a straight line down. So, so you wanna make sure that's straight. And then, you take your side. And you wanna pull it up. And try to get everything over. I didn't because I'm short. <laughs> okay. And throw all your stuff over as well. And you want to adjust it before you start tightening anything. You want to make sure it's where you want it. Make sure everything's where it needs to be. And the first thing you do when you're saddling your horse is you get you. This is a mohair cinch. It's my favorite kind to use. I feel like it stays on the horse better than any of the other ones. And it doesn't rub. And this is your breast collar. And then this is the back cinch. So the first thing you're gonna do is your front cinch. So. And how you do that is You want to stick it in there once, like this. Stick it in there twice. And then if twice is enough, you can go ahead and tighten it up. But not too tight, because it'll make your horse suffocate. And then you'll take your excess and put it in your keeper. And then, you'll take your back cinch, grab it. And depending on how tight or how loose you want your back cinch, your back cinch is not going to be near as tight as your front cinch. Just because it's not there to hold you on it. It's there to hold your side around. And just give you some extra. So depending on how tight you want this, depends on whether or not you put it in a keeper or if you put it in a thing. So... So if you don't want it too tight, you take it, you stick it through like this. You pull it, up, pull it around, put it through there, and do that. And it does like a D knot or you put on when you're saddling your horse is your breast collar. And you just take it. Usually there's a D ring back here that you'll put your breast collar in, but since there's not on this one, you'll take it and run it through the same thing you take it, take your dirt through. And it's supposed to be a little tight because it has a job. It's not just there for looks. And then, so that doesn't pop around, I usually stick it in there, but that's a personal preference. And then you take this and take, stick it in the D-ring that's under here, like that. So the first thing you do whenever you get ready to ride is make sure that your horse is feeling good today and um, you want to brush them. Before you go and do anything, you want to make sure your horse is ready for it and make sure she's limber and paid attention to you. So if she's, 
she was trying to scratch there. But um, so if she starts moving in any way when you don't want her to, just take your hand really low and back her up. Put your head down where you want. Because when your head when the horse's head is down, it's a sign of respect. You always want your horse's head to be level. Because if it's up in the air, this showing that you, they have no respect for you. You gotta be on your horse. You wanna make sure that they're ready for you to get on so you don't spook them or anything like that. She's not gonna do anything. And so, you put your foot in there. You got your side of things in the foot. And then to make them walk, you just tap them. Whoa. Whenever you go to get off your horse, you want to make sure you have enough slack in their reins to where they're not all up in. You want to make sure that they're relaxed and not going to completely flip out whenever you get off. Whenever you get off, you want to grab on to something, spin your leg around, let one foot go down first, and then take the other foot out of your stirrup. In order to untie your horse, you need to start with your breast collar first. Kind of like whenever um, you're saddling, you got to start with your front cinch first for the same reason that if something happens, you have your stuff on so your horse nor you get hurt and your stuff doesn't really break. So, you want to, it clips under there, and then you kind of like that. You move to is your back cinch, and it's got a, like a half hitch knot, I think that's what it's called, and you just undo it. You just kind of string it right there, and then you move your dirt, and you need to move your stirrup out of the way so you can make sure you do everything right. Bang you out of there. It's a leather one, it's harder. Okay. And then, when you want to take off your stuff, okay. you want to throw all your stuff over so it doesn't drag the ground and mess up. Thank you.